In any case, thank you, uh, Mayor Eisenberger and councillors, for being so engaged in the stadium debate. Let me start by declaring my personal bias for the West Harbor site. Uh, I am not here to talk about numbers, although I will tell you after 30 years in business uh, and having met an annual payroll in the many millions of dollars, uh, I understand their value. Uh, I know how important they are, but others have spoken and others will speak about numbers. I'm not here to talk about the Thai Cats, although I do remember going to my very first Thai Cat game in 1962, shortly after we emigrated from England. But others have spoken of the Thai Cats, and others will speak of the Thai Cats. I'm not here to talk about who said what and when and for what reason. Others will attempt to make sense of the appalling sequence of events that has taken us to the place where we find ourselves today. And when we do look, and where we do find momentary glimpses of true integrity, let's all take a moment to celebrate them, as I suspect they will be few and far between. What I am here to talk about today is the passion and the conviction demonstrated by Hamiltonians from every demographic, from every ward in this city. I'm here to talk about the challenge that lies before you today. And finally, I'm here to talk about the stated vision we have for our city, and I believe its relevance for the task at hand. I believe honestly that you have a difficult job at the best of times. People such as me are permitted to watch a lot of what you do and say. We get to comment. Sometimes we praise and thank you. Other times we criticize you usually constructively, but not always. Although I was told throughout my whole business career it comes with the territory, I think we can all agree that that territory has witnessed some seismic shifts in the past few days and weeks. Shifts that have made a difficult decision an extraordinarily difficult decision. A decision that will not only affect how people see you, but also how people will see themselves and their city. I run a little storefront museum on James Street North called Hamilton History and Heritage. Since I opened almost three years ago, more than 20,000 people have been through my door. In the last few weeks, I can say honestly that I have not seen the level of passion, concern, and yes, love expressed by the full range of people who come in to see and to speak. Old timers talk about how great Hamilton used to be. Young people talk about how great Hamilton is now. All of us imagine what it could be like in the future. Like me, I trust all of you have read every single comment written by citizens who have expressed their views about the stadium debate on ourcityourfuture.ca. I would have done the same on Go East Mountain had that been possible. It has only been within the last few days that certain comments started being posted. So what to conclude? Well, I know you have been given a summary report of the comments posted by Our City, Our Future that identifies nine key themes. They are accessibility, city building, downtown revitalization, environment, frustration with the tie cats, funding, progressive reputation, and pride. I would ask each of you to consider adding these themes to your, your obviously growing decision-making checklist. There is an entire community out there telling you they have hope for what can be, for what should be, for how to make that determination. There is no theme in that list that talks about parking, or highway signage, or ancillary revenue, or a driveway to driveway experience. Private interests talk about all of those things. The citizens of Hamilton are less selfish. They're more visionary. They care about... <laughs> they care about the health of a city, not just a team. Please. Um, the city of Hamilton is a very clearly articulated, vi articulated vision statement. You know it, so repeat after me if you like. The city of Hamilton will be the best place in Canada to raise a child, to promote innovation, to engage citizens, to provide a diverse economic opportunities. Four strategies, all with the measure of being the best in Canada. Raise a child. Which site will deliver the most to all of the children in this city? 
not just to the ones whose parents can afford to drive them there and pick them up. Promote innovation. Which site will show how innovative we are as a city? 7,000 parking spots on what is currently a wheat field is not innovative. Engage citizens. Well, on this one, I think we can all agree we hit a home run. Never have I felt the energy of the people as much as I have for this issue. And finally, provide diverse economic opportunities. I guess the question here is whose economic opportunities and what kind? Is it big boxes, chain restaurants, parking vendors, or is it locally created and locally owned businesses? Does it include those local developers who are ready to help intensify our downtown rather than simply and clumsily spreading their developments out across the few remaining employment lands we have less? In conclusion, this is our vision. It's the vision of all citizens of Hamilton. It's the vision of all the people we want to attract to and to stay in Hamilton. It's the vision you are elected to help us realize. It's not a slogan. It means something. It helps us to recognize and to take the right path, the progressive path, the path that will make all Hamiltonians say, I love my city. Thank you. Thank you very much.